Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is a tired authentication of multicast protocol for ADAC networks. So before you are entering into the AI concept, we learn something about the multicast protocol. Um, so multica multicast is nothing but a communication between single sender and multiple receivers on a network. So in our system, we are using the multicast is the delivery of a message or information to a group of destination computers. Uh, that it means uh, from a single system, we are broadcasting the message to the multiple multiple destination computers. So, uh, in order to send the messages uh, in authentication, we are using some symmetric algorithms. Here, we are using the MAC algorithms for message authentication codes. So uh, once we are choosing the uh, message and we are uh, we are going to implement this MAC algorithm. MAC algorithm is nothing but uh, it is the uh, same as a cryptographic concept. By using this concept, we are going to uh, encrypt and encrypt the message by using the key. Also, we are going to decrypt the key, decrypt the message by using the key. So for this encryption, we are using two keys, public key and private key. So by using this public key, we are encrypting the message. By using the private key we are decrypting the message so once the sender uh, sends the message to uh, it will broadcast after the receiver receives the message uh, he need to enter the authentication code and their IP address for some some small authentication purpose after that uh, he allowed to uh, decrypt the message uh, after, uh, once, once, uh, once the validation is confirmed we are providing the key for them the data are decrypted uh, let me see the brief demo in video <laughs> So this is our uh, sender system. So we are uh, this is multicast. Now we are having multiple uh, multiple destination computers. Here I'm here I'm using one VMware. Inside it I'm I am running one one server. This is this is my first server, and then this is my first server. And this is our you uh, this is our sender. So uh, I am running the another server in the same computer also. So this is our second server. Okay. So totally I have run three applications. Uh, this is our user sender application, and and then this is our server, and another server is running inside the VMware. So totally two servers here running. So let us start with the sender. So before uh, implementing a uh, client server, we are going to see in graphical nodes. Okay. First, uh, we are going to see the message transmission in nodes, node based. First, we are creating the node. We are creating ten nodes. So now click connect. So once we are connected. This, this is simple uh, normally normal connection between the nodes uh, here here is our process so here we are chosen the uh, source node as one and we are going to select the destination nodes uh, here I am choosing three as the first destination node and seven as the second destination node so now I am connecting this so this is from one it connects to the three and one so now I am going to so now I am going to set my IP address. It's online. So this is our IP address for both servers. So I have added the settings. Now I'm uh, now I'm browsing the file. So first first we have seen in graphical. Now we are uh, we are implementing client server concept. So I'm choosing on file. The file name is and the file name is uh, so 
so the file name will be the hs now i am going to broadcast this hs hs folder before broadcast this one i am going to uh, encrypt the encrypt the file for our safety purpose so before encrypting i uh, i need to create a key generate a keys so i have created the key now i am going to encrypt it so i'll encrypt it as for the key so i am clicking the adjust key so now i am going to save it and click send so the file is now the file is transferred successfully for both the servers so this is our first server it shows the status data has been received so let us see our second server so here also it shows the data has been received so it shows the, here it shows the data has been received the data will be received in some local path here here it receives in the c colon file transfer folder so this is our file received at the same in this system also it will be received in C colon file trans folder. So this is our file. So now we have broadcast the messages. Uh, after we broadcast, the user need to the user need to uh, decrypt and see want to want to show it. After the sender uh, broadcast the messages, uh, the receiver side so receives in some local path. then then the receiver need to take the file and take the file and he needs to decrypt it so before he decrypt it uh, some authentication process is done here so it asks for the node number and it asks for the ip address once we give the correct ip address it allows inside for the decryption so uh, the encryption and decryption file are saved in the so this is our uh, encrypted file so click decrypt and it asks for the key so this is our key so finally this is our original text here finally save it and you can use it now so uh, This, that is for first server this is this one is the second server like the same here you type the node address node number and then the ip address so once we give the a correct ip and correct node only it allows you inside or is it won't allow inside so here also the same process so click open so the file will be received in the C colon file trans folder. So this is our file. So now decrypt it. So this is our original text. Now save it. So our message authentication process is over now. Now we need to analyze it. So after the decryption process is over, the sender will analyze the whole process. The analysis part consists of an uh, accuracy analysis and then the performance analysis. In accuracy analysis, the sender will uh, check its accuracy level, and in performance, he will check the performance how it works like that. So uh, for accuracy analysis, the user will receive so after the decryption process over. The sender will analyze it, analyze the whole performance. So the analysis part consists of the accuracy analysis and the performance analysis. In this accuracy analysis, the sender will check its accuracy level and and also it checks the performance. The output of the analysis will be shown in the graph format. So uh, how it works means the sender will get the file, get the same original file from the node one. From node one, so it shows the status as file received. So, like this is the same file. So both the file also received. The file will be received in the local path. 
so it creates a folder in c colon as fa files from node 1 and files from node 2 and then we are going to analyze it now so for this is our original file so and then this is our server 1 file and also so validation success so now click for the server 2 you click for both file and click validate it so both validation also success here now we can see the analysis here so uh, now the analysis will come in graphical format so first we can see the performance analysis here for the nodes and the edges and then accuracy analysis for nodes it comes under zero for edges it goes in maiden so this is our analysis result we have shown here so thank you